Hello, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. We're glad you're here. If you're returning, welcome back. We missed you. Where the fuck have you been? Anyway, it's Sunday night. It's time for the work week top and bottom. And I know the question is, no, no, Faith, where the fuck have you been? Um, I've been busy. My gosh. It's 100 days of summer and life is crazy right now. Just saying. Rain in with a capital D. Let me tell you. Okay. So, for those of you who are new here, this is how we do this. Gemini, which is the season we are currently in, is an air element. So, we'll go air, water, fire, earth. And we'll go around the wheel that way. It's just a quick sneak peek into what you might be able to expect out of your work week this week. If it resonates, okay. If it doesn't, that's okay too. If you are going by your sun sign element when watching this and it doesn't quite resonate, check your moon rising or Venus sign. See if that one resonates a little bit better. Just as you would with any general sun sign zodiac reading. I'm just going to give all these a quick shuffle while I go through my spiel. Um, time and energy both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher even. So just like a regular zodiac reading. No big deal. Just having fun. Just throwing down some cards. Having a good time. Just seeing what comes out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. As for the first half of June readings, I'm hoping to have those done by the middle of the day on Wednesday before I go to my shift that day at work. Well, my regular bread and butter job. Which, those of you who have been watching the channel long enough know it drains me and consumes my soul. Anyway... <laughs> And it is 100 days of summer in the industry I work in. We are hopping and banging and booming despite everything that's going on in the world right now. Some things will never change. So, yeah, that's the skinny on that. Thursday, um, depending on how many personal readings I have lined up, I already have a couple lined up for this week. I might have to just take a chill day. We'll see what goes on. It's appointment day that day, too, so... Yeah, because, you know, once all the chaos started and things closed down, now that things are starting to open back up in my area, um, schedules have been thrown completely out the window at this point, so we're just making it work right now. But tis what tis. Can't do nothing to change it. You just got to be along for the ride, you know? Okay. Speaking of appointments, the eye doctor... I don't believe is open yet. I still have to call them. Pardon the glare. Um, I need these to ward the headaches off at this point. So, sorry. I gotta be able to read, guys. Anyway, I do plan on getting that prescription updated within the next month or so, hopefully. Okay, enough babbling. We're th almost four minutes in. One more quick shuffle for my air signs. We're gonna see what y'all got going on this week. Ten of Swords upright, Queen of Pentacles upright. Hell yes! Like it already. That sucked. Whatever you went through, it's over. The painful cycle has come to an end. The sun is shining again. You're through the worst of it. And, Queen of Pentacles, you're good. You're golden. You've, it could be financial independence, could be emotional independence from something, but you're good. You got your own damn pentacles. You don't need anybody else's. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Alright, well. Let's see what else the cards have to say. Ah, here we go. Set those down. Okay. Let's back up. Hit the rewind button, if you will. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Death in the upright. 
possible karmic connection, maybe downward cycle of events, something you left hanging out there for whatever reason, you didn't quite close the cycle out well, something changed. There was a, a transition period for the you, the person you were dealing with, something in the situation metamorphosized. The chubby little caterpillar went into the cocoon and became a butterfly. Somebody had some kind of weird spiritual realization, maybe. Could be. But things are not as they were. Long and short of it. Alright, fast forward a little. The world in the upright. Seven of swords in the reverse. Somebody may have very recently, or is about to, because this is kind of where the fluid part comes in, coming in to close something out finally. Secrets being revealed. Things that were left unsaid, were said, are about to be said. Somewhere in there. Okay. Coming in for this week. This week. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles. That's not too shabby. I don't even think I need to clarify this. I'm reluctant to give you advice, but I'm going to do it anyway. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles. That's love and abundance. That's amazing. This can represent love and abundance of yourself. Coming into your own. Nice. It can represent someone coming back with a cup of love and abundance. Coming to close something out. The worst of it being over. Nice. I like it. But the big kicker here is Six of Pentacles. Things finally being equal. Equal reciprocity, equal give and take. That's not that's not a bad situation. Somebody went through a change. Secrets came out. I don't have an ace of pentacles reversed on the on the board, but hell. I'll throw it out there anyway. That damn houseplant finally decided to straighten up. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's quite a few past videos where I talk about houseplants. You'll, you'll get the drift. All right. Air signs, let's get your advice. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Speaking of the fucking Ace of Pentacles, there it is. Six of Swords reversed, Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Mm. This doesn't seem like advice, but it's words of wisdom at the very least. Something's coming back around. Definitely. That house plant has decided to straighten up. You just had to leave it out in the rain long enough. All right, a couple more, a couple more. <clears throat> Knight of Cups reversed in the tower. Oh my. This is going to shake things up a little bit. Sometimes when returns happen, that does happen, but a shakeup isn't necessarily bad. As depicted in this particular one, this is after the tower has fallen. Sometimes towers need to fall to make way for what is supposed to be there. That's amazing. This Knight of Cups, this, this is someone returning straight. You know what I'm saying? Something's coming to shake up. Something's coming for a comeback. Okay, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Sun in the reverse. Find a little bit of advice. Don't allow this falling tower, don't allow this shake-up to knock you out of balance or to disrupt your happiness. If at the very least it, it's closure and it's love for yourself and it's the end of a painful cycle, that's amazing. That doesn't mean you have to go running back to this person. But if it's at least going to level the playing field, why not? You know? Right on? You catching me, air signs? Okay. All right. Water signs. 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces. What's happening with the water signs this week? One quick shuffle and we'll cut since I already shuffled. Get in there. See how that card wanted to hang out? Mm. Nine of Pentacles and Strength. Water signs, that's not bad at all. You have defeated the beast. You are standing in your power. You are strong and independent. I like it. I like it. Again, y'all have come into your own. That's cool. Let's hit the rewind button. Chariot in the reverse and the King of Wands. Well, King of Wands can represent confrontation. It can also represent some sexual energy. You know, take it however it resonates. The chariot in the reverse, it's... It's closing of gaps. It's a decrease in distance. It's making a U-turn on the road of life. Potentially. It can also mean being split in two different directions, but, you know. What the heck is going on? I don't know why my computer just did that, but. <laughs> All of a sudden, something random pops up on the screen. It can also represent being pulled in two different directions, but, okay. We'll get some clarity here in a second. Fast forward a little, Four of Cups, Upright, Sun, Reversed. That's the coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't. It's very interesting. Someone was ignoring something here. Or seeing the cup, but not reaching for it. Not acknowledging the connection. Okay. Hmm. Definitely going to be getting some clarity for our water sign friends today. Before I talk about those, we're going to clarify that. Why is the chariot reversed here? Okay. Five of wands, nine of wands. Pulled in two different directions. Confrontations, building of walls. Confrontation. May have been a fire sign you were dealing with. Leo's already on the board. Leo's on the board twice. You could very well be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. The person you could be dealing with has Leo in their chart. Take it out of resonance. There was a confrontation. Walls went up. Split in two different directions. Someone trying to overtake the other. Why is the King of Wands here? Temperance. Another fire sign flies out. Sagittarius is on the board now. This confrontation may have occurred to even out energies, perhaps. I'm hearing maybe that's just how they are. I don't know what that means. Maybe this is how they are. Maybe that means something to someone who might be watching this video right now. That's just how they be. They argue. <laughs> they argue to keep balance. Can I get another one on that, please? 
something that might mean someone to something else, devil reverse pops out. Could be Capricorn. It's disconnecting. It's disconnecting from something toxic. Maybe someone was confrontational because they're dealing with addiction issues, something of that nature. Good possibility. There was a separation, confrontation, argumentative energies, possible addiction issues. Why is the four cups here? Thanks. Death reverse flies out. Scorpio, card of Scorpio. Not reaching for the cup that they're trying to offer you because nothing has changed. Eight of Swords. Okay. Someone may still be all wrapped up in crap that happened in the past. Someone hasn't changed. They're not taking the cup. So we have the Sun card in the reverse, an unacknowledged connection. It's there. It's just not fulfilling. It's not equally felt. <laughs> Six of Wands reversed. Hold on, I gotta go grab that. Six of Wands reversed flew out. Another fire sign card. Ironically enough, a Leo card. There will be no return of, after the battle. No victory. Eight of Wands. Fast forward mu movement. Potential for the communication. I'm thinking this is more of a take a hike deal. Like moving on. Moving forward. Alright. Fast forward to this week. Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. It's a little sketchy. Okay. Seven of Cups represents options, like keeping your options open. The Ten of Cups is a step past emotional completion. That's like emotional completion with frosting and sprinkles. That's amazing. I like it. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Twenty minutes if I play my cards right. Thank you, kid. <laughs> if I play my cards right, that's funny. Three of Wands reversed. You're exercising other options. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you just got seasick there for a second. You're exercising other options. You're not waiting around. You're not waiting around for change. You're not waiting around for this to be equally felt. You're not waiting around for whoever to get their shit together. Because... You're defeating your own damn inner demons. You don't need theirs. And you're coming into your own. And damn it, you're happy again. And that's amazing, water signs. I'm happy for you. Alright. Not that you need it. Two of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Swords. Don't allow this heartbreak to hang around. Don't allow them to come back and muck things up for you. Just, just be done. Don't juggle the emotions. Just process them. Allow the heartbreak to happen. Process it. Move forward. A couple more. The Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Don't wrap yourself up in the reunion. And don't overthink what other people are trying to tell you to do. Even if it's me. I mean, <laughs> you want to take advice from the cards, that's fine. But don't, don't wrap yourself up in it. You, you're coming into your own. You're good. You're going to be fine. 
And that's awesome. You get back up there. Emperor reversed and the Queen of Wands. Mm. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to ask for support. No one's going to think any less of you. Not at all. But just remember, you have the power. It is your life. It is your journey. She's a sassy girl. That Queen of Wands is just she is. She moves forward and she gets what she wants. And she's a fighter. So, water signs. Be the fighter. That's awesome. Happy for you. Proud of you. Okay. Can we get some more good news for our fire sign friends? My fire sign brothers and sisters. What? It's fire sign tarot. I'm not judging. And I'm not playing favorites. I don't do that. I might put you on blast every once in a while. And I apologize if I offend people. I'm going to be frank and honest when I say this. If you get offended and I, I, and I hit a nerve, there's a reason. And that's something I've had to transcend about myself. If somebody said something to me and, and it upset me, it's because there was just a little bit of truth to it. And it's a hard pill to swallow. I get that. And I'm, I'm sorry. But it is what it is. It's just who I am how I say I love you, I guess. Okay. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. My friends. Oh my gosh. Get back in your deck. Page of Wands reversed in the strings in the upright. Oh, hell. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, do y'all just tell somebody where to go? <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting off of that. Wow. Don't be so full of hate. It's okay. Okay, page of wands in reverse and strength in the upright. You're taking charge of this. And you're putting a stop to something. Like, in a huge way. Okay. Rewind button for a second. Six of wands and the lovers. Okay. So... The return of the soldier after the battle. Awesomely wonderful connection. I got two awesome, wonderful connection cards here with strength and the lovers. So you connected with a soulmate or reconnected with someone. There is a sense of return here. Could have been a Gemini, could have been a Leo. I don't know what happened between here and here, though, because Page of Pentacles, Upright, Page of Swords, Reversed. That is an apology and the silent treatment. I don't know who apologized to who. I don't know who told who to make dust. I don't know. But this week, um, emotional closing off and a crappy attitude. I, I, let's get some clarity. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Mm, no 
on, guys. I just read the cards. Don't look at me. I didn't do it. I wasn't even there. I was probably at work. Oh, the moon. Okay. That's that's the secrets card. That's the smoke and mirrors, lies and deception card. That is the skewed perceptions, things not being as we think. I'm going to throw another one on that. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Something ground to a halt. Someone got told where to shove their pentacle. Okay. Wow. I'm not going to clarify the Page of Swords in the reverse because that's... Yeah. I'm done with you. I'm not talking to you. <sighs> Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? You know what to say about soulmate connections. Sometimes they come into our lives solely to teach us a lesson or steer us back on the path we're supposed to be on. They don't always come in to stay. That's not always their purpose. Page of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Not taking offers, not giving offers, silent treatment, emotional closing off, fire signs. What the flip, yo? Why? All right. King of Swords reversed. Why are you here? Is this the acting out of emotion or bad attitude? This will not end well. One more on that. Mm. That's the flushing everything down the toilet this week. I don't know if I like the sound of that. King of Wands reverse. No action being taken, throwing in the towel, fire signs, why, what, I don't like it, I don't like the bad mojo, why, Polarities in the connection, one overtaking the other. Was someone being a little domineering, possibly? Was that why? And the strength card is in the upright, but that's the only other possible way that that ties in with this. All right, advice. Knight of Cups reversed, Four of Swords. sleep on it. Before you cut off all communication, just sleep on it. Just lay it to rest. Take a minute. Think about it. Eight of Pentacles and the Star. Okay. There is an opportunity to heal this connection, but you both have to be willing to put the work in. Only feed the connection. Scratch that. Possibility of an Aquarius you're dealing with, by the way, just throwing that out there. There's a possibility to heal this connection, but you both have to be willing to put the work in. Flip side of that. If you want to heal from this, you have to be able to put self-work in. Because that's what healing is, is self-work. Working on you. Fixing you. 
Not that you necessarily need to be fixed. You're not broken. But everyone needs self-love and self-work. I don't care who you are. Justice in the reversed, high priestess in the upright. If something seems a little bit fishy this week, it probably is. You need to tune into your intuition. And that's not what goes on up here. That's not what goes on in here. These, no, 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 no. Three completely different things. Your intuition is that little tug in your gut. That it's not even a whisper. It's not necessarily something you hear. It's not something you feel. It's that little tug. That, excuse me, that little tug on your shirt, or that tug on your gut. It's that feeling. So if you get that feeling this week that something isn't on the up and up, it probably isn't. And you really need to listen to that instinct. Okay. What next? Earth signs. My earth sign friends. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What's going on for the... I keep doing that. Gosh. What's going on for our earth sign friends this week? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I'm in a super good mood because, not going to lie, I had like the worst day at work ever. But I came home. Cracked a beer, had a shot of Evan Williams, and <laughs> just decompressed for a couple hours. Talked to a good friend on the phone. My, I'm not going to shout him out by name, but he does subscribe. He does view. He knows who he is. Bud, I love you. And it's cool that you're kind of close to a bestie. Anyway... <laughs> convinced he's a soulmate. Actually, someone I chased as a romantic interest last fall, but when those kind of feelings just weren't there after we met, it's like, you know what? We belong in each other's lives. There's a purpose for this. Let's just run with it. It's great. I love it. All right. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Enough of my babbling. What's going on? Three of Pentacles, upright, three of Cups, reverse. There's two threes. Holy crap. Okay. Can I get a clarifier on the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups reversed, please? I know, I don't typically do this. Six of Swords reversed. Okay. Possibility of a return, even on your part or someone else's. Could be work related. Something to do with a disconnect. Relaying the foundation after disconnect. Return. Hmm. All right, let's hit the rewind button for you guys. Princess of Wands, upright, chariot reverse. action. You guys are going to be my stumpers this week, aren't you? Action being taken. Messages. Closing a gap. Being pulled between two directions. Why is the chair reversed here? Seven of Wands.
Something went off the rails. Oh, wow. Why is the Princess of Wands here? This may be a person. King of Wands reversed. Okay. Something went off the rails here. It was completely out of control. Someone, could be a younger person, doesn't have to be, stepped in and said, wait a minute, this isn't happening. That's where the third party comes in. That's crazy. Why are we letting other people control our decisions? Why are we letting other people come into our lives and put a stop to things? Can I get a tire, please? Princess of Wands, chair reverse tire. Prince of Pentacles reverse. Stop. Putting a stop. Putting a stop to. Stagnant energy. Stop. Possibly behavior was going a little bit off the rails. Okay. Third party disconnect. I'm not going to beat that dead horse anymore. We're just going to leave that as it is. Why is the King of Cups here for my Earth signs? Princess of Swords. Hmm. Communication open ba opens back up. The love or the emotion is deep and profound and it's mutual and there's communication and then we come to the realization this was not meant to bud to begin with why is the ace of pentacles reversed here seven of cups options giving someone options giving someone blessing to pursue their options one more Nine of Wands reversed, allowing walls to come tumbling down, admitting vulnerability. This isn't going to work, but I'm not that broken hearted about it because I have other options. So do you. Let's exercise that. Okay. Honest communication. But there's still something left hanging out there. This could have been someone you worked with. But I'm definitely getting a sense of third party here. I'm not saying somebody got cheated on. I'm saying somebody intervened. There was some kind of intervention here. Ace of Cups going off, pursuing new things. And then comes the return. Wheel of Fortune, upright, two of pentacles reversed. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Hey now, all-star. Four of pentacles reversed. Releasing all of those negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, all that not-so-happy jazz, just letting it go, allowing the cycle to come to a close, play out how it's going to play out. One more. So the return's happening very soon. Things are going to close out. We're going to release some emotions. Tower reverse pops out.
the dust is settling. The question is, can we build something after this? You decided at one point that you couldn't. This may come into question for you this week. Can we rebuild? Can this cycle back around? Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here? Okay. I'll take them. Prince of Wands reversed and the Six of Wands reversed. I'm not, not seeing such a glorious return, I'm not going to lie. I'm seeing some emotional juggling. I'm, I'm seeing the want there. And the willingness to commit, but I'm not seeing it work out, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Let's get your advice. It's going to be called into question this week, and it's going to be decided upon. That's what we're going to call that. King of Swords, Upright, Five of Swords, Reversed. Make your decision based on logic and not emotion. And accept the fact that you might not be able to change that person's mind. If you're the one doing the pursuing, if you're the one being pursued, I guess it all depends on whose perspective you're looking at. Make your decision based on logic, not emotion. Be honest. Communicate clearly. And accept that you may not be able to pick the pieces up. Sometimes it be like that. Speaking of sometimes it be like that. The star card, the princess of pentacles, both in the upright. If the healing is going to happen and the positive energy is going to flow, somebody has to extend that olive branch. You don't know until you try. The worst they're going to do is tell you to Make dust somewhere. Take a long walk off a short pier. Ten of Pentacles reversed in the Eight of Cups. Wasn't that what I just said? That's what I just said. You're already not with this person. You're already standing in the remnants of the tower. It's already not worked out. If you come back together and it calls into question, can this come back around again? If you're the one asking the question, what do you have to lose? You're just, you know, worst of it is you're going to have to keep on walking. You've been doing that. Hmm. Or they've been doing that. It all depends on perspective. Okay, guys, this has been the work week top and bottom of the deck reading for this week. <sighs> wow, I'm whipped. First half of June will be done by noon Wednesday. Good Lord willing and the creeks don't rise again because you remember all that flooding I was talking about down in my mom's hometown? Um, well, we got some flooding here up in, up in this part of the world last week and that got kind of crazy and intense. Let me tell you, I had to drive through some of that. That was all kinds of jarring, I guess you could say. Anywho, I'm going to check out because I have to go to bed because I have to get up at stupid clock in the morning. Thanks for stopping by. Much love and be blessed. I love you guys to bits. And we will catch you over the next couple of days for your first half of June. Bye-bye.